Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. So today, I'm so excited. This was the set I was talking about, the Princess Ariel gift set. We have Sebastian, we have Flounder, we have the purple dress she wears at the end, which I don't think that has ever occurred, like that's never been made before. We have the pink dress, we have Scuttle, we have Ariel with a bunch of hair clips. We have Max, we have Prince Eric, we have Vanessa, which I'm so excited for, and we have Ursula. So this is $99, 99 US dollars on, stay, on Shop Disney, and I will put a link to it in the description below. I think this will make an excellent Christmas gift, especially if your children or you love Little Mermaid. I'm now going to open it. All right, I'll be back and we will review each of these pieces in detail. I'm so excited. I can't believe Disney made this. Yay! Now they could just make one for Moana, Maui, Moana, an accurate version of Hey Hey Please because Disney Store so far for the 11 and a half inch doll has not made an accurate version of Hey Hey. Pua, her grandmother, her parents. Ooh, and Tamatoa. Definitely Tamatoa. Okay, I'll be back after that thought. <laughs> Yay! That took me about 15 and a half minutes to open, so a while. First, I wanna show you the small accessories before we get into the big ones. So Ariel comes with, well, I guess you could put him in Vanessa's hair too. But the set comes with four different small flower clips, two hot pink, two purple, two light pink flat shoes, that go with this pink ball gown that Ariel wears when she's in the castle. I'm actually impressed with this ball gown. I didn't think I would be, but I'm actually really impressed with it. It has poofy sleeves. It has a lace collar, a white lace collar. I don't know what to call it, but the, um, the bodice part of her ball gown is more fitted. There's like, are they seams? I don't know, but they're fitted. It has an overskirt, like a true, overskirt that's a little a shade darker pink than the skirt part which is a little bit of a lighter pink and I will definitely put this on Ariel after I'm going through each of the characters and what I'm really excited about is the sparkly sleeveless purple dress that Ariel wears at the end of the movie so it is purple with um, glitter that does not come off. It is glitter that stays on there, kind of like an iridescent kind of glitter in it. It has a little bit of a collar at the top. Very beautiful. More of a fitted type of dress. Um, okay, okay. So it does have a, a slit in the dress. And the inside of the dress, you can see is a purple kind of color. So beautiful. And it does not come with shoes because she didn't wear shoes at the end of the movie. And then we have Scuttle, which is molded plastic. His wings are spread apart. Two orange feet. Um, he looks a little bit more gray than I think he is in the movie. In the movie, I think he's more white, but he is more grayish white here. And he does have dark gray on the tip of his wings. Tail out. Orange beak. And then yellow eyes. Kind of hard to see on my camera. There we go. Yellow eyes. Scuttle is about one and a half inches tall. And with his wing spread, he is three inches across. We also have Flounder and Sebastian, and I feel Scuttle should be bigger than Flounder and Sebastian, right? Like, Scuttle should definitely be bigger than Flounder and Sebastian, but oh well. Anyway, we have Flounder, yellow flounder fish, molded plastic as well, with green blue eyes. He is a yellow fish with blue fins, blue fins at the top, blue stripes on his body, blue fin at the tail. His mouth is open. You can kind of see red tongue, red mouth in there. And Flounder is 
one and a half inches tall and then a little over one and a half inches wide. Then we have Sebastian. And Sebastian seems to have a more cheerful look than he does in most of the movie, but that's okay. Maybe it's the end of the movie and that's why he has a cheerful look right now. So he seems to be smiling, his mouth is open, he's also molded plastic as well. White eyes, um, reddish pinkish body, a little bit more on the reddish side than his red lobster shell. And Sebastian is a little over one and a half inches tall and about one and a half inches wide. And finally, Max, which Sally, he's also molded in plastic. I thought maybe his head could move. I will say that this head is not moving. This is a non-moving head. So we have Max, who's definitely the tallest of the creatures. He is about five inches tall, a little taller than five inches tall, and then two and a half inches wide. He's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. So I'm assuming Max is a sheepdog. That's always been my assumption. If he's not, please let me know in the comments below. He is gray, light gray, with medium gray ears. His eyes are covered by his hair. He has a black nose, uh, a pink tongue. You can kind of see his teeth. And then his mouth does appear to be red on the inside, but it's hard to tell. His body is light gray at the top. The medium -ish dark gray at the bottom. He's uh, sitting upright. A few paint effects on mine. And that's okay because I don't think we've ever had a Max before and a little bit of a bushy tail. Light gray with a little bit of medium gray in it. And how cute he is. I love Max. So if you want to see the animals side by side, so that's how tall Sebastian is to Max. And Scuttle, which I still think should be bigger, and Flounder seems to be the second biggest animal. That's how tall they are in relation to him. Okay. Now it's Ariel. And I am so pleased to say that this Ariel has no gel in her hair. I know the Ariels that they make now have no, have no gel because they have recycled packaging, plastic free packaging, but the Ariel I bought two years ago was still in the, um, oh, her hair feels glorious, no gel, I love it. Uh, the Ariel I bought two years ago was in the plastic. Um, okay, she does have the teeniest bit of gel right here, teeniest bit, like a little curl right at the bottom, the left side curl on her hair for whatever reason. Anyway, I keep interrupting myself. The Ariel I bought had a ton of gel in her hair uh, because she was still in the plastic packaging. Blue eyes, her pink lips, pale skin, brown eyebrows, beautiful bright red hair. That is soft. Oh, I love it. Um, she can move her head left, right, up and down, side. Can move at the shoulders, at the elbows, at the wrists. And she does have a little purple top that is very glittery. Don't like the feel of it. Meant to resemble seashells. And then her very glittery mermaid tail, which I also don't like because it doesn't feel good to my fingers. And then like a toolish type of material that's supposed to represent her mermaid tail. So the mermaid tail is green. The glitter is coming off of it. And then the mermaid tail is a lighter green. Okay, Eric. Gosh, I've never had an Eric doll before. Things are falling. That's okay. Eric has molded plastic black hair black eyebrows, pale skin, light blue eyes. His mouth is an open smile mouth. You can see his teeth. Although he does wear a white shirt, a red belt, cummerbund belt, we'll call it a belt, sash, sash, and blue pants. It is one outfit. So it is not separate. It is one piece. They're not one piece. And incidentally, he does wear blue painted on underwear if you wanted to know. So he can move left, right, the teeniest bit up and down. He cannot swivel his head left and right though. Like he can't tilt it left and right. Bendable at the shoulders, at the elbow, the elbows, and then at the thighs. How about the knee? Ooh, he does have a bend and snap knee. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes, he does have bend and snap knees. And then he has black rubbery boots. And they do have slits in the back so you can take the boots off and he does not come with socks. Let's now do Ursula. And I've never had an Ursula before. So this Ursula, she's like half doll, half stuffed animal. <laughs> so the top of her is a doll. Um, you can see Ursula's face. She's The non-stuffed part of her is purple. She it can move at the shoulders. But not move her head. And then she has white molded plastic hair. Um, wow, her face screening is so good. Wow, like um, arched black eyebrows, blue eyelids, light blue eyelids. Eyelashes look great. I almost thought that they were rooted. I mean, I don't know why, but they just look really good. <laughs> she has red lipstick, a black mole on the left side of her face, detailed purple earrings. Look like maybe worms? I'm not sure. Then molded on painted necklace with the black cord. The gold shell. And then her dress part is stuffed animal. It is, uh, so like the top part is doll. This part is doll still. You could take this top part off, but um, she would have no body. She's just a stuffed octopus on the bottom side. Uh, so her dress part and then the rest of her, which is the stuffed animal part, or the plush part, I guess. Don't mean to call her an animal. Is black velvet. That's how it feels anyway. And then beautiful detailing on the underside of her octopus legs. Just like purple, scaly, very shiny. And now, I don't know if this is everyone's piece of dirt resistance. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I read it once in a Garfield comic. I don't know if I'm saying it right, pronouncing it right, but I think I am. So we're gonna go with it. <laughs> is Vanessa. Oh, I can't believe I have Vanessa in my hands. So amazing. So she comes with this velvety dark purple hooded cape. Her cape does clip on. There's two little clips. You can do it. It just might take a little bit of time. So let me undo the clip. Undo the cape so you can see how it's done. So you have this latch side and then this side that you just hook the latch into. There we go. That's how you do it. Really beautiful cape. I'm actually surprised that she came with a cape. Here is Vanessa. Also no gel in her hair. Um, you know, as I say that, I take that back. There's actually a little bit of product at the ends of her hair. Or maybe it's just fried. I don't know. <laughs> like from the top to about the middle, it feels good. And then at the bottom, I can't tell if that's product, if it's a bit fried. It doesn't quite feel as good. Um, that is okay. She has pale skin, dark brown hair. Ah, eh, medium to dark brown hair, I'd say. Purple eyes, arched dark eyebrows. She has an open mouth smile, but it seems to be a bit of an evil smile with pinkish red lips. She is wearing a necklace of the shell, the gold shell, that carries Ariel's voice. She wears, it is one piece. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's supposed to represent two pieces, but it is one piece. Uh, the top of her dress is dark purple with purple straps. So she has a little, little slit of silver in the middle and top of her corset portion of the bodice portion of her dress and the stitching it's actual stitching like it's not printed on two x's it's real purple stitching in there that's really cool um, in the bodice of her dress and then her skirt is a light purple and her necklace keeps coming well, you can see that that's how her necklace is tied in a little knot so it can come off if you want it to i wouldn't recommend taking it off because i bet it'd be really hard to put it back on she can move it to the left 
at the right, up, down. She can tilt her head to the left to the side, move out the shoulders, at the elbows, at the wrists, and at the thighs. Okay, she does have bend and snap. She does have bend and snap knees. They just feel really rubbery. It's afraid it's gonna break them. And then she comes with purple flat shoes that match her skirt. Okay, I'm gonna put Ariel in her pink dress and after that, her purple dress. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is Ariel also came with this hair bow, this pink hair bow. Now, if you buy the set, be very careful not to clip this circular plastic part because this is the little part that will put the hair bow into Ariel's hair, this plastic circle-y part. So do not cut the plastic circle part off of the hair bow. All right, I'll be back. So in the movie, I actually never liked the pink dress on Ariel. I just didn't think it suited her very well. But I actually really like this pink dress. I really like it. I love the poofs. I love the white lace. I love the fact that I could put the ribbon in her hair. I think she looks so, so adorable. Yeah, I, I really love her in this pink dress, honestly. Oh, and she also can bend at the thighs and bend and snap knees. Look how pretty she is in this dress. I just really love her in this dress. Oh, maybe the purple one won't be the one for me. Wow, she just looks so cute in this dress. I seriously can't get over how adorable Ariel looks in this dress. Okay, but I will put her in the purple one. Oh, and a lot of glitter came off of the mermaid tail, like a ton. And there's glitter on her legs, and since the rubber is just like, just try to get them off. It's it's very glittery. It's a mess. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, I'll be back with her in the purple dress. So here is Ariel in her dress she wears at the end. Now it is very tight, so parents, you might want to put this on the doll instead of your kid. I think though, honestly, I might like the pink one. Isn't that so weird? I didn't think I would, but I think I might keep her in the pink one. But I am really grateful to have the option and that we have the purple dress. I think honestly, the dress comes across better in real life than on camera. Um, it is a subtle effect, whereas I think the one in the film, it's very shimmery, it sparkles, whereas this, the dress, just it's more of a subtle effect, but I think it looks better in real life. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think she looks best in the pink dress or the purple one? Again, I don't think you can quite see the effect as well on film, on camera, that you can in real life. Ariel, 11 and a half. Vanessa, 11 and a half. Eric, a little over 12 inches. And poor Ursula, definitely bigger than this. 10 inches tall. This set is amazing. I highly recommend it. Um, I don't know, I think it's actually worth the $100 or $99 or $99.99, whatever it is. It's that price. Because you get four dolls, including, well, Eric, Vanessa, when is next time we're gonna get Vanessa, and Ursula. And you know, I now get why people usually have doll stands with them when they're reviewing. I need to buy more. That would be good. All my doll stands are currently occupied. Stay. I think it's a really good deal. You get these four dolls. And I don't know the next time we're honestly going to get Vanessa or Ursula especially. I feel like we might get a Prince Eric again. We also get Prince Eric. You get cute, two costume changes for Ariel. The pink dress, which I didn't know I would like so much, but I do. The purple dress, which I don't think we've ever seen before. I'm really glad to have it. Ooh, it's growing on me more. <laughs> get hair accessories for her. We get Scuttle, which I... Have we ever gotten Scuttle before? I think we might have. I think we might have. We've gotten Sebastian. We get Sebastian and Flounder, which, you know, we have before. Then we also get Max. We get Max. Have we ever gotten Max before? 
So I honestly think for $100, this is a great deal. I do believe in November, there, I think, based on last year, based on last year in November, I believe there was a 15% off. They can get it for friends and families of Disney stores. So make up to sign, make sure to sign up for Shop Disney. Like get their emails, and I think then you can get the coupon. So hopefully that will happen again. If you really want this set for you, or for a kid, you know, probably get this set sooner than later, just in case it sells out. You just never know. It's always better to get presents sooner than later, just in case. So you could hold out. Again, I don't know if this will sell out. You never know. You never know. It might be fine. Things that I thought didn't sell out wouldn't sell out. They sold out like the She-Hulk doll sold out. The Guardians of the Ga Galaxy action figures sold out. I don't think they're coming back. So when I saw this set, I wanted to get it so I wouldn't be in the same position I was with She-Hulk or the Guardians of the Galaxy action figures. I recommend it. I honestly think it's worth $100 because each doll right now is, I think, 20-ish dollars now for Shop Disney. Um, so you're, I don't, you're getting $4. You're getting two costume changes. You're getting four animal creatures. You're getting hair bows. You're getting hair accessories. It's a great deal. You're especially getting dolls that you, that they have not made in a long time. So I recommend it. I think it's fun. What do you guys think of this set? Do you like The Little Mermaid? Are you excited for The Little Mermaid coming out? Um, what sets would you like Shop Disney to make? Let me know in the comments and please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe for more videos. Ring the notification bell because again I have more videos coming out for this month. And share with your friends because maybe you have friends who have kids who really like Little Mermaid or maybe you have friends who like Little Mermaid and want this set. Share it with them. Let them know what this set all entails. And I will see you at my next video. And remember, and we're not going to use Vanessa and Ursula because they don't agree with me. But remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay again at heart. Bye! <laughs> That's him panting, by the way. Because he has his tongue now, so he has to pant. It makes sense in my head. That's right. Thank you, Max. You're welcome.